Well, this is um, part two of the tie rod four go kart. And what I'm trying to do now, I got you see, I got both wheels on the, on the back of it. Alaska just <laughs> walked by my dog. <laughs> he always has to check out what I'm doing. So both wheels. The only only thing I didn't know is when I bought it, um, the right right wheel, the the rim is um, th that's a new one over there, is white, and the old wheel that I've had for a while, the rim is zinc coated, so I didn't even notice it when I bought it. So I'm just gonna, but I think what I'm gonna do, because the the throttle, the existing throttle with the existing um, bracket is on the left side so I want to run a cable from there over I was thinking of electrifying it but I think it'll be a lot easier because where you can put batteries and everything so I there's a way but I want to make it simple so I think I'm gonna go the direction of, of having a, a gas motor and then the cable can go here over to the, to the motor and and then this was gonna be my drive wheel so I just got to figure out a sprocket that's smaller diameter than that wheel so that's what I'm hoping for All right bye so to continue on this discussion so you can see how much how much thread is sticking out there so I if this is a drive wheel they'll some of that will be taken up with the, the sprocket and everything but the other side I have to accommodate that so I'm thinking of using this cutoff from a pipe right here, but it's a little bit too high. So it came with um, a pipe that has a, a reducer that fit into it. In, the outside diameter will fit into the inside diameter of another pipe, slotted it together. But there's a little ridge right here, so I want to cut off that that left side ridge right there. At first, I was thinking about Weld in some some washers, some five eighths inch washers, but they're really thick. You know the the washers are pretty thick on it, so I don't I don't want that much thickness there. So so out comes get the zoom right the Weber barbecue. That's what's left of the bottom of the Weber barbecue. So I'm going to cut some pieces off of that to be able to go over both sides of that and then weld it to it. So that would be my spacer. Alright, bye. Check it out. This is the bottom of the go-kart. Jennifer turned it over for me. I'm gonna put up, make some bare metal there, there, and there. Why I'm out. I'm out. Hold up. A panel right on there for it's a place to put my feet on. And then this is how they did um, the seat. So they they use like a like a tractor seat. And um, you can see the the stock bolts where it's got a threaded insert. There's four of them. Well, they missed those because they just, they're not made for this, but it worked. You know, so that makes sense. Zero, two screws right there. But there's one there that's barely in, and this one has a hole in it, but it's not, not no screw there, so it must have fell out. So I was thinking about like a flat bracket that goes across here like a plate that use the factory inserts and then ties back to there so I think that would work if I could find a plate 
So, let's do some work. Bye. So I've, I've got it pretty much welded as much as it's going to get welded. I put this, this, I don't know, I think a 3 8 inch bar, rebar across there and it help help strengthen up that, that edge right there. And I've got it tacked pretty good. And I ground, ground down some of the welds there because it's kind of, it's getting kind of ugly. There's too much weld on it. So I just, I got them off of there and I'm going to grind off the rest of them and get a little bit of surface rust off and I'm going to paint it yellow. It won't be the yellow that matches the rest of it so but it will be underneath so it won't matter. And I did, I figured out that that one bolt, those, I thought those were um, threaded on a seat but they're just, it's just a hole. So what I did, I just punched through it with a carriage bolt and just and it bolted that one nut and then that that one needs a washer and I think the seat's pretty solid there so then it'll be ready to go to the engine work so I haven't figured that one out so I'll, I'll figure that when I get to it all right thanks for watching bye over at Carlos's shop Check it out, the MX is on the lift. Filming on in action, quiet on the set. <laughs> it looked good. Carlos cleaned it up and it's, it's getting ready to do, get some work done. I'm excited. Bye.